There's a pair of the Google Pixel Buds 2a. I'm going to show you how to pair and connect these directly to an LG Smart TV via Bluetooth. Now this is the LG TV that has WebOS. First thing is go to your settings on your LG TV. If you have the settings button on your remote, you can simply go ahead and tap on that. If not, just go to the home page and just navigate on the screen to the gear icon, the settings icon. So let me go up, left, down, right there, settings. And the settings button's highlighted in white already. Let me go ahead and okay that. Now from here, we're going to go down to sound. So we're going to go down one, sound, let's OK that right there. And now from here, we're going to go down one to sound output. And currently, the audio is coming out of my TV speaker, but we wanted to come out of these earbuds. So sound output, let's select that. Now from here, we're going to go down to use wireless speakers. Use wireless speaker right there, let's select that. Let's select Bluetooth device. And now you see that thing spinning right there. It's searching for devices that's in pairing mode near me. So let's hurry up and put these in a pairing mode, okay? The buds are currently in a case. Let's open these up. You'll know that this is in pairing mode if this light is blinking white. I'm not getting a white blinking light. I have a solid white light on here. The reason is because I'm connected to my one of my other TVs or my phone. So let me just manually put this into pairing mode, okay? There's a button on the back. Let me press and hold that button until I get a white blinking light here. I'm still holding that button. Okay, it's blinking white. There we go. Now we're in pairing mode. Let's jump back over here, and uh, it found it. I thought I took too long. I thought I was going to have to rescan, but it found it right there. So Pixel Buds 2A, let's go ahead and select that. It says connecting, and voila, we are now connected, ready to go. Pretty simple. Now, if you had issues pairing or connecting these, you can always factory reset these. If you need to do that, look below in the description area for that link.